Amara is a platform and a set of communities, actually a group of different communities that do uh, translation and subtitles for video. Um, so the relation right now to EU Screen with with Amara, I think, is a shared desire to see the amazing content that's available in all of these different languages um, to break down some of those silos that, uh, you know, if you have a piece of media that's available only in one language, um, it may be limited in its reach or the ability to, um, you know, gain a broader audience. Um, and so we're hoping to work together to, to again, break down some of those barriers to communication and subtitle and translate as many of those videos as possible. That's a tough question to answer. So we have, um, you know, TED is a, an organization that uses Amara to, to bring a large group together. Um, they have, I think, 45,000 registered users. How many of those are active? I think it's kind of like a lot like Wikipedia. You've got kind of the top 2% that are very, very active, and then it sort of t tapers out from there. Um, and that's kind of what we've seen across all of Amara is that you'll have a few very active folks and then they'll be supported by a, a larger community of other people. There are totally open workflows where you can engage people almost like a Wikipedia article and a lot of organizations do this and have good luck with this. Individuals do it this way. Uh, it's sort of the more eyes, you know, the, the many eyes makes, um, I guess, bugs more scarce and that's kind of the open source rhetoric and we see the same thing with um, subtitles. Um, there are also organizations that use uh, tools for maintaining specific workflows, for having applications so that their community as they build it is a little bit more um, uh, hand-picked or tailored um, and they can have a little bit more control over the way that uh, let's say they have peer review or an editorial workflow. So Omara allows for that kind of um, that kind of uh, management of a project as well. Well, the interesting thing about uh, community-driven translation when it's a volunteer, because again, sometimes organizations will use Amara with kind of a closed, even whether it's you know their own people who work with them or people they know. Um, a volunteer translation community in many ways I think can can reach similar if not better levels of quality just because these are normally people who care about the content they're people who understand it in some fashion and are sensitive to you know if it's a television program they're likely a fan and they know all all of the ins and outs of the different characters, the way that people speak, that kind of thing. And so we see that translate to a really high level of, you know, people take pride in their work. Um, and again, if they don't know something themselves, there's a community around them so they can ask others. And um, I, we've seen some really amazing things come out that way.